poke on in a body. Um, I've got some more entries here that I've not had a chance to do. Still sending those competition thingies where you make the packs up. I haven't sent them out yet. I've been late with stuff, so you're still getting them. And like I say, it'll be three weeks from when you get them. So um, never ever been this behind with stuff, but it's, yeah. Um, so this is a lovely package that came from, I think I took it out of the envelope, but I don't know who it's from. It's got gorgeous paper here that you could reuse. Lovely little birdie on there. You can see there. A bird. Oh wow, okay. I'm not sure if I know who this is from because this is like a signature thingy. So, and she's a lovely lady. Oh, I better check it. They're all lovely ladies anyway. But, um, wow, this is beautiful. I love a little envelope. I shall reuse that. Oh, that's really pretty there. Yeah, um, yes, it's from Ashley. Um, so here she's made me this wonderful little envelope there that I'm going to be doing a nature um, album journal book thingy like I call them because I'm not any you know um, a nature one so this will go in there like beautifully I love the paper so you can let me know where you got this paper from if you want I don't know if it's Stamperia by any chance but that's a gorgeous paper so a bit of matching paper for there yeah I love that <laughs> And then this is like a little, this is like a little ATC card. She's doing a competition actually. I'm doing a VR separately from this one I mentioned. It just reminds me. So it triggers a synapsis. So you'll say, oh, this is like this. Oh, whatever. So we'll do it a separate VR. Um, she's doing a competition where she'd like you to send her an ATC and tell her in the comments um, what you what makes you happy. Um, oh, and to make something that makes you happy. So... Say so you like um shabby chic pictures, make one of those. I think that's what she means. I was actually listening to the video. I was very tired when I watched it last night, but it, it sounds really cool. And I like to piano playing as well. So, yeah, this is cool. And I like the fact she's got her address on it, which is very helpful. So, they're handy, these ATC cards, because you got the address. Hmm. Yeah. I won't read her address out because she might not like that. I hope I haven't flashed it. Um, this is beautiful. It's actually my taste. It's like um, well, vintagey steampunky. Um, but green, more greens than the darks. But yeah, um, she's got like a hexagon, um, stamp that she's used there, and she's done some like um gold flecks on there, ink flecks or whatever. You know, beautiful, gorgeous. Um, like a Tim Holtz stamp. It might just be any stamp, but it's it's all the same stuff, really, isn't it? So I love these little drops on here. I love it. Investigate. Um crime, etc. Ferum equity sur. So some French there. Love that. Um so yeah, it's it's got a details on there. Um address, uh name, address, a birth oh a birthday is coming up. She likes to see, yeah, food, mm, wine. Cat, yeah, books, yep, yarn, flowers, definitely, eclectic style, colours of blue, greys, greens, golds, and then it's YouTube and her email there, so, yeah, I love that, I want to save that, that's a good idea for the addresses, but seriously, now then, okay, and then a card, it's got a little sticker on there, like a bit of paper or washi or whatever, Finishing it off. Oh, nice. I love animals. Um, that's gorgeous again. I love this. And she's taken a lot of time over this. A lot of love has gone into this. Like the other ones I've got. Um, and the ones to follow. Um, the darkening violet sky there. And then she's done like purples. Um, like a lilac -y, A lighter purple. Ready purple even. And then darker, so you know, she's used watercolor, so she'll have lightened it and then had it darker. That's gorgeous. And the stamped image there of an owl and a moon. I love that. That's very nature, too. So, could even maybe use that in my little 
journal thing perhaps although it's taking apart a nice card but um and it says thank you for hosting such a range of yes i'm getting behind with my giveaways i love doing them <laughs> yeah i do um and challenges recently i love your channel here is my entry to your latest giveaway did it there may not be lots of goodies. No, it doesn't matter about that. Um, but the the little album was made with lots of care and love. I, I'm, I'm really pleased I've got one of those because they're fantastic. Her, her album, you think she's been making for a competition? I'm like, wow. If I was ever half as good as that, <laughs> I'd be pleased. Um, I really enjoyed make, uh, making it. I thought you could use it. Oh, yes. As a mini journal afterwards. I hope you like what I sent you. The stamps and dictionary pages are vintage. Wow. Take care, Ashley. And that's it. Paper and twine there. She's got gorgeous handwriting. She used to be a teacher. Which I kind of got vibes that she was some sort of a teacher. Because of her speaking voice, etc. So, she's like the teacher. I had one teacher at school. Um, Well, I had one at primary school. that She was lovely. And then at secondary I had one and she left and she was my English teacher and she encouraged me. She said, you'll be a writer one day. It didn't pan out like that. I did other things, art and stuff though. But yeah, she left and she used to encourage all my stories. She'd, she'd, she'd give me all sorts of awards and things. But after that, my next English teacher didn't give a, a monkeys and they were a lot younger. And, and if you can get a good teacher, you set for life. That's all I'm going to say. Right, this is beautiful. So she's got some nice black lace there. Ribbon, sorry. And then she's done this in the woodland. I love this woodland. I really, in fact, I'm, I think I'm going to be buying it. Because it, it is stampy, I'm sure it is. So here we go. This is beautiful. So thank you ever so much for this, Ashley. I love mini things. They are so exciting to me. And interesting. Right, okay. So... She, she's made this like this and it says woodland friends on it a little rabbit there or hair rub gorgeous little squig squirrel i used to say squiggle when i was a kid um then you've got fowl as in you know fox fowls as in chickens and what have you um this is a little pocket here i hope i'm doing it justice oh let's get it out of the tab it's a little and that's a deer that okay right oh, yeah. well that's cool i love that oh there's a little package of bits and bobs that's cute so just give me i need some more sticky little little pearly things actually for something <laughs> so yeah just right size for little miniature things to fall in there gifts you know that's so pretty right i love that i'm gonna slot that back in there this is probably taking too long this already. And there's a little slot there. To put in a, oh no, there is a tag, sorry. <laughs> Couldn't see it then. It's a lovely background as well. She, she made that herself. Yeah, I think she has with watercolours and it, it just matches it, just looks like paper. Ooh. Then you've got various little sending love, good luck. And there's another one, have a nice day probably. I'm just going to leave that in there because I take ages to get stuff out. And I've got nothing wrong with my... I've got no arthritis or anything. <laughs> Maybe they're just chubby fingers, but I don't I don't think they are particularly... I don't know. Then we've got this um, tuck spot here. Timeless little booklet. Is it a booklet? No, little wallet. Little envelope. That's so cute again. Ooh. And she's popped in... So then I had a chance to send her out that um a uh twelve or twelve, but that's coming out shortly. So <laughs> so it'll be extra special when she gets it because it took ages. So there's one little pictures of bicycles. They're a little sort of vintagey. They're cute. Can I get it back in? All right. Okay. I love that fox. It's gorgeous. I love foxes and cows and I like chickens as well. And birds. I really like birds. I'd love to have a little. Sounds nuts, but um, a raven because they can talk, they can talk, and they're just sort of like mimicky voices. But I'm definitely getting a parrot because I think ravens are a bit, you know, <laughs> they're too, you know, wild. It's probably illegal. Uh, memories and beautiful there. But I'd love it if you lived in the woods and you just had these birds that you fed every day or animals and they came to you every day. 
not like Snow White. That's too, you know, <laughs> too Disney. But you know what I mean. Just living with nature, but not owning it, not not it being in your house unless it wanted to say hi. Um, thank you ever so much for that, Ashley, because that is gorgeous, and I'm going to use that. That's Ace, and it's little, and it's done ever so well. So thank you again for that. It's beautiful. I love that. You see, you can tell everything's made with thought and care. I mean, that mine took 10 years to make, so at least you know I care about it and loved it <laughs> when I send you something. <laughs> so, yeah. This, yeah. Right. Beautiful. Don't leave that to one side. I'll use that paper as well because that's really cute. This is from somebody. Yeah, I don't want to show my address. I hope I haven't just showed my address there. It's a bit I have. I can't, can't edit stuff. I'm just rubbish at it. The card in here. Oof. Alright, okay. So, there's a card here. Look at birthday cards. I don't take the time to make cards, and half the time I just put in little things because I don't have time. Quite ridiculous, really. But, oh, this is beautiful. Just for you, a little card there. Um, I don't know if that's watercolour. Can't almost tell. Um, I'm gonna go with yeah. So, and maybe love. So this is Christmas cards and things. Oh, Christine's cards and things. Christmas cards. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, uh, she's been making loads of cards. She did a little um giveaway to win ten cards. They're all and she used my little flower on there, which was really nice of her because I didn't know. If you would or not, you don't know because they disappear into people's stashes sometimes. But yeah, gorgeous cards she makes. She makes a lot more than I do. I can make cards, but it's, I do like making them, but I have to make one or two special nuts at, at a time. I cannot make loads um, because my interests lie elsewhere, like with mixed media and stuff. That's what really, you know, paper things like books. I love books, whether it's reading them or making them. Um, please find and close my attempt at vintage envelopes and a lace butterfly. This is my first try at both, so I hope they're acceptable. Of course it would be. It doesn't matter. It's just so that, you know, that's beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous tissue paper. I'll try and not rip it, but yeah. I'm going to have to have a copy in a minute because I'm not even fully up. Maybe I don't know it's like a time of it or that. Yeah, it's not working out very well, but I can still reuse this. Because oh. you only need little pieces. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love these little butterflies. She made me a butterfly. And it's got those little sparkly things. Um, uh, What do you call them? The prismic. Um, I've got loads of these. I love them. Different colours. Gorgeous. And the little stamens from the flowers. And then lace. And they are really pretty and that'll make it a beautiful little embellishment for um probably that nature journal or something. I might ink it up a bit, um, you know, greens and things to match the nature of it. But that is gorgeous, like a little cabbage butterfly there. So thank you. There's nothing wrong with that, it's beautiful. Um, what is this? Ah, it's an envelope, that's gorgeous. I love that. Very cute. And it's newspaper. I love vintage newspapers. She's inked it up to make it look all old and blah, you know. But not blurs and blah, but blurs and mmm. I am like watching, um, sometimes I will watch, um, you know, these places where they get permission and they look at old houses and that everything, you get patina, you get decay in these old houses. It's really sad, a lot of it, where somebody's passed away and they've not had anybody to pass it on to and it just goes to decay in it some gorgeous houses and they have like paint peel and just like old vintage oh i love it um yeah and they have things like this and i just love old vintage it has a history to it i love the his he hessian hessian flower there with the pearl and then just two lace um motifs there and the flowers they are gorgeous and a little cog there i love that that's a really nice design that. So that's a beautiful envelope which will definitely be used. And then we have 
another oh it's another envelope is that it's like a sewing machine there die cut sewing machine and some um i don't know what flower that is offhand but a cute flower there I'm useless at flowers i used to know all, all sorts but i don't know lace there and the beautiful paper but gorgeous and vintage again which is perfect <gasps> and then this it's a lovely red emerald type butterfly that's beautiful and then a beautiful like chrysanthemum or something like that chrysanthemum i don't know <laughs> and again on beautiful paper and i love that so, so thank you ever so much for that it's beautiful entry there's nothing wrong with your envelopes or your um your blood flash. so you don't have to worry because you know <laughs> you don't have to worry so thank you ever so much again for that. I love those two. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. I hope I haven't flashed my um, my uh, address. All right. So this is obviously from the artsy grandma because she put her name there. <laughs> Just so I know. I usually I say, hey, I've received this and. But I'm not even had time to read the emails or... Ooh! You see, I think last time she sent me something. I think. Or someone did. And there's some women that you will wrap up in material. I used to do this. I love it. That's gorgeous, that material. Don't know what... Oh, it's like... um. I don't know what it is, but I like it. <laughs> That's gorgeous paper. So, a lovely little card. I didn't know if it was an ATC because it's like sort of same, you know. The Artsy Grandma Handmade We Love April 2021. I hope all is well, honey. Please accept these as my entry. Yes, of course. Thank you. It's your competition. I love watching your mixed media pieces. I need to do some more stuff. It's bereft of stuff. The Artsy Grandma Aisha. I love that name. And that's the front. And it's gorgeous. And it says, what does it say? Send you a smile. Which is, everybody today has done that and the other entries too. Some um, raff, what is that, raffia type. Which that's cute. And it goes together really nicely as well and it just makes a nice envelope. Oh, it is an envelope actually. I have folded it up like an envelope. Oh yeah, it's like an accordion envelope. Cool. I love, I love these sort of styles. The accordion, can you see there? That's wicked. I love that. And then there's, there's some sparkly things in here. <laughs> well nice. So again, we got a little the arts of grandma again at gra grandma. Grandma. And this she made this in January. Because you can make these for your stash and then bring them out and it's sorted. Absolutely sorted. So um this is a lovely little flower she's made it from a book or you know, a piece of text, gorgeous, and the little gems there. I love that. And that could go in a book. And I love the pearlized pink there. So it's really pretty there. Not too much pink, but I like a bit of pink, but not like a pink dress or something. I don't. I like dresses, but not. But just a bit of colour, you know. And then an envelope there. I love this, of course. I love the little pink. Um, Salem Rose. It's a bit of tin foil she's used. You can use tin foil or aluminium is really versatile um material to use. This is a beautiful flower again with the little little tiny pearls and then she's got me some bits and bobs in there. Very cool. I like those. I've not seen that before. Really pretty. Now we're going something a mixed media piece that's bright, you know, and colourful. And then a bit of this cool like glitzy stuff that's a bit of fabric there cool another piece and that'd definitely go on something steampunky i reckon or on a book that's you know a bit of glam but a bit of lace there thank you that's lovely and again that could go on something steampunky too then you've got the envelope which can obviously be used I'll pop that to the side because I think this has taken 10 years already. Oh, that's cute. She's done one of these. Um, I've done a couple of these paint pores, but not videoed it, which might be an idea to do next time. Then you've got it. But 
yeah, I love that. I'm going to do one on thingy camera because it's fun. Really pretty colours there. The blacks and the pinks, the mauves, things, and the blended in. I mean, it's darker than it is on camera, I think. But And then it's just in this, like, November there. That's really pretty. And that'll go in something. And then this is, like, what is this? Oh, it's like a wall hanging thing, I think. You have to care because if you're pulling something off and it's part of it. I mean, I've never deliberately ripped something, of course. Um, let your dreams blossom. That's really pretty. You see that? Like a little wall hanging, I think. Yeah. Gorgeous. And I like that it's made out of card. I do a lot of things with card and recycling because you don't know what it was. You can't tell when it's done and you make something beautiful out of trash, basically. So, and it's fantastic for the environment. Um and use all your bits of cards and paper and that a little picture there decal type thing that's really pretty too. As long as I come out, I don't know if it's an envelope that comes out. Wait a minute, I don't know. If I'm <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking that out, but that's gorgeous. I think it's like a little tag holder and then some little bits on it. That's paper clipped on. That's gorgeous, and it's a new way of putting things in. I'm assuming it's actually a holder. It could be a wall hanger, but I think it's like a special tag thing. Um, and then oh, some little flowers are cute. I'll use those too. So thank you for those. Um, so thank you again. Beautiful things. And looking up, they're all usable. <laughs> they're lovely. You can sound pleased when I make that stupid little noise. Um, and then this one, and it says, "Why oh, is this from Amber? Amber, Amber." Anyway, it's got Happy Mail on it. I'll oh, I'll cover that up in case you don't want the uh, cute sticker there. Um, I like that. If it was a real envelope with flowers coming out, I'm like, yay! I'm just, I'm just making sure I don't flash anybody's address. So if I had done, I'll have to check it. I don't, I don't usually check my videos after, so I don't know. All right, I need some scissors. I can't open it. Like I say, I've got nothing wrong with my hands or anything. I'm just useless. <laughs> I couldn't open a package of clothing the other day and I nearly cut the linen top because I didn't have any packaging protecting it. No, it's a bit stupid, isn't it? There's quite a bit of weight. Wow. This is small cool stuff here. Wow. Let's pop it on next. I'm going to throw the envelopes away. I don't usually use... Well, I do sometimes, but I've run out. So, gorgeous butterfly there. I love that. That could go in my nature thingy my bag. On the front, that would look cool. Um, I like the sparkler there and make a wish and a bit of lace and that is a lovely little topper or um, embellishment shall I say oh, I like this I love that little person little girl wow that's really cute I like the iridescent pinky um, you know paint luminescence pearl paint whatever she choose there create art that is gorgeous. That, that deserves a, a place in a nice vintage album there. And then, ooh, this is Amber Kintyre Kin Crafts there. So, oh, that's so cute. It's got like a little pixie fairy girl there. Like a little berry girl. <laughs> Reminds me of that artist that used to do the fairy stuff that I used to buy a load of, but I don't know. Um, I've forgotten the name, but Red Emerald there at Make a Wish. Um, and it's got a bit of rose gold there. I love a bit of rose gold. And the roses, absolutely adore roses. Um, that's beautiful too, the little musical scarf. A bit of lace. And then it just says, I hope you like my entry. Take care, Crafty House Amber. Of course I do. I love it. Um, and this is, oh, 
gorgeous. I don't know if you can pick it up there. I love that. Um, it's a gold stamped image of a lady with a brocade. I love a stamp. I'm gonna have to look for one of those. <laughs> um, I was, I was showed you could not be so beautiful for nothing. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> um, and then she's um, she's uh, dyed some um, made it sort of peachy coral, the lace, and then she put a little wooden. Do dad it on there, which is gorgeous, and then this has already got like a printed lace on there. I love that. Um, and then a picture of a dude on there, I think. Printed man, vintage man. I like, I love that. Um, and again, that they're all going something vintage because that's, that's gorgeous. Now space on my desk. Then it's another little like glassine vellum envelope and it's a little fan. And I love this little um lace there that she's used. Very cute little, I love micro things. <laughs> I could make a joke there about a sewing press, but I won't. I won't. <laughs> I'm just joking. But, uh, a lovely fan there and the lace and everything. So you can pop something in there and she can put some, uh, like a paper bag, Um, you know, the, what do you call them? Paper cut things. Hole punch. Lace punch there. My memory recalls terrible at the moment. <sighs> Still. So that's a gorgeous envelope. I love that. That's perfect. I love the clock and I love the little key and the Hessian fabrics. And the bit of got she's edged it around there in gold or something similar. I love the paper. It's so cool. Is that Tim Holtz? Because it looks like it. Or it might be a printout or something actually, but that's gorgeous. And then last but not least, oh she's is she so have you sewn this? I think she's made that herself. That's cool. I, I, I don't I, I can use a sewing machine and make these sort of stitches, but I can't do anything where you I've never tried it to make a flower and embroidered it. So that is gorgeous because it takes a lot of work. Um that's cute. And the like that's really neat lace, I love that. Like that's a perfect sort of lace. Um, and then she stamped some images there, and there's a little, um, butterfly there. I think she's in a little bit. And a little picture inside there. The herb garden. So, it looks like she's made that out of a book, and that's fabulous. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. So, thank you, and that's from, I hope I said, I think I said everybody's names, I hope I did. So, that's from... Kimberly or Kim McIntyre. So thank you again. They're all beautiful and they're all usable. And yes, I'm really pleased. So um, I can't remember when I said this competition was going to be drawn. I'll have to check that. She'd be like, what, what, what you doing? What you doing? Um, and that was to win the um, paper pad, the mold, etc. I don't know what else it's it, it's all like in a box so it's all together so i don't mix anything up like you get something else and say like, what what what's this which you don't but i'm just saying um the d sashes i hope <laughs> i hope i gave out the right thing so please let me know if i gave you something different because i don't think i did but i know i did that with one lady <laughs> i gave her two things i don't i don't know why i did um, and you should be getting the rest of your bits and bobs. Yes, it takes time at the moment. And I just send bits out and then send more things. That's how I do it. Also for postage reasons. And it's just, yeah, I need to get organised with that. But um, that's it for now. I've got my little wardrobe to show you and other bits. It's just at the side of me. I've inked it up and it's drying. I'm just going to put some shelves in and add some legs. I found my knobs for it. So. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't, if you're not, com if you're still conscious, hold on. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.